Привіт, привіт, my dear friends. This is my vacation vlog from the western Ukraine. At the beginning of July, I felt a little bit tired and depressed, so I decided to take a mini vacation together with my mom for one week. So this is a railway station. We arrived early in the morning and we had a road from the city of Ternopil to the city of Truskavet. This is our train, you can see, and we had two tickets in the typical economy class. This is our carriage and as you can see people can sit or sleep on the first or as I say on the second floor of it. So you can see people are chilling here and uh, let me show you more how it looks like. So it's kind of comfortable, I can say. This is me chilling, going to take a nap because it took us six hours to get to our city, Truskavets. So here it is. I want to tell you that um, it is located in the Drohobych region, Western Ukraine, Lviv region, near the border with Poland. And it is a small city, its population is approximately 28,000 people. And Truskavets is famous for its mineral springs, which have made it one of the Ukraine's great resorts. So let's take a look at the city architecture. Very beautiful buildings, there are a lot of wooden elements in them. And uh, it makes the city very cozy, very calm. I really enjoy the atmosphere. Very beautiful, you can see. And uh, after the walk, me and my mom decided to have a breakfast in the Ukrainian restaurant. Here you can see beautiful Vushivanka Roshniki on the table. What a beautiful picture. Ukrainian women and Ukrainian Cossack men. They are flirting. Just look at these windows with the candles. Very nice. Here are the pumpkin, a real one. Again, a beautiful picture of Ukrainian village. And uh, it was very delicious there. We had banosh and vareniki. Just look at this oven. Very atmosphere. Very beautiful. So this is one of the central streets in Truskavets and uh, we really enjoyed walking there and this is Rynok Rynok it means market in Ukrainian language Rynok Suvenirev the souvenir market Ikra means caviar caviar, yes, so you can buy their fish eggs so there are a lot of magnets you can see uh, some socks you can buy also Vushevanka shirts there are a lot of them, just look, these are for kids, you can buy their flags, homemade jam, homemade wine, homemade um, horilka, or uh, as you know it is the same like vodka, and here you can see, you can buy some stuff, here is my mom, she really likes to... <laughs> Uh, go shopping and I was tired because we had to go to every single shop oh my god yep so lots of uh, interesting things you can buy there you can see here is a Ukrainian um, flower brands there's this beautiful uh, Greek Catholic church and in the western Ukraine there are a lot of um, Greek Catholic or Catholic churches. Oh, what a beautiful street and actually there were not so many people and uh, it's a um, hot season right now and local people said that uh, unfortunately due to the war there are not so many people and it is a little bit difficult for resort places. So here is a museum, local museum, the history of the city. And here you can see very old ancient things that were found in the city 
since the 13th, 14th century. You can see some ancient vases, ancient weapons. Here's the Danilo Halitsky king. And here you can see some things that were found in Truskaves during the World War II. Uh, some weapons. Uh, you can see the map of the city, how it looked like, the photos of famous people. Of course, you can see on the right, in the right corner, Stepan Bandera, the hero of Ukraine, and people who fought for the independence of Ukraine at that time. I think so very soon we will have a lot of museums in Ukraine uh, and a lot of things from the current war. Here you can see Vushovanka. So as you may know, uh, each region of Ukraine has specific and special symbols of Vushovanka design. And here you can see the outfit of people from uh, Lviv region. You can see a lot of rushnik, a lot of shirts, handmade work, of course. And you can see beautiful, again, rushniki pictures. This is a musical instrument. Oh my god, yes, so many beautiful pictures. How people lived, it is very interesting for me to explore. My my grandma, she had the same sewing machine. How do you call it in Ukrainian? Also, there was an exhibition of uh, modern Ukrainian artists. So beautiful pictures. You can see Taras Shevchenko, our great poet. And you could buy pictures there, by the way. Uh, look at these beautiful pictures of Ukrainian women, Kazakh. And near the museum there was a real Kryivka. You may have heard this word from Lviv because there is a famous uh, restaurant named after it. So Kryivka is a hiding place of Ukrainian sergeant army left from the times of the World War II. And here you can see a lot of interesting artifacts. And here is the red and black flag of Ukrainian sergeant army, you can ask me, Ina, who were they? So let me explain you. The Ukrainian sergeant army was a Ukrainian nationalist, paramilitary and later partisan formation. During World War II, it was engaged in warfare against the Soviet Union, the Polish underground state, communist Poland and Nazi Germany. So they fought against everybody who wanted occupy independent Ukraine. So they lived, slept, ate and fought here. So you can see some weapons here. So let's go to the second room. Here you can see again the flag, the uniform. You can see how they lived here. And of course, in the corner of this room, there is a portrait of Stepan Bandera, the leader of Ukrainian sergeant army. Here are the old map and some old newspapers, documents. Here is the mirror. It's me. Privit, privit. Here is the one of the main streets. In Troskovets, you can see there are some people, street musicians, very calm atmosphere. And this is the main park of Troskovets. We enjoyed to walk here. And uh, the city is located near the mountains, uh, the Carpathian ones. And I want to tell you that um, the air was very fresh and you felt very well and uh, uh, also there are some sources um, in this park and we found a very famous one this is my mom her name is Helena uh, she's a Ukrainian teacher teacher of Ukrainian language and literature of course at school so uh, I took the job after my mom so this is the source user you can see you can um, get it for free 
uh, and it is very useful uh, to drink it and uh, you can uh, wash yourself with it uh, and it will make your skin very soft so it's me made in ukraine girl you can see i drink and wash my hands with this water because it is well very healthy and then you will look much younger and beautiful for sure so you know now the secret of ukrainian women they come to truskovets drink this healthy water and become very beautiful and healthy okay it was a joke so this is the main source and uh, there you will find uh, the most famous water naftusia um, naftusia comes from the word nafta that means oil so it is a um, sulfur scent slightly saline water it tastes like um, oil it's true so you can see this um, source place looks like uh, railway station so you can buy the the card uh, put some money there and drink this um, mineral water on tap so we came two times per day with my mom we drank this water uh, here's my mom she's very happy to have a daughter blogger <laughs> uh, indeed so you can see it's me drinking this super magical water and you have to drink and walk at the same time because it is better to drink it like this and we went to Fazenda I wanted to did some fishing so you can see it's me famous Ukrainian fisher woman so Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god, it's 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 a it's a fish! So I caught a trout. Oh my god. So happy. So we uh, went to this fazenda. There is a river uh, from the mountains that comes to this lake and I caught a trout and they uh, They are in the restaurant. They cook it for us on the grill. It was so tasty You can see pine trees beautiful forest mountains and I didn't expect but in Truskavets you can find Jesus monument like in Rio. So I was super shocked to see it and it was very beautiful and you can see here the view on the whole city mountain view and in our uh, hotel there was a best house best house lasnia so of course i love to go to the best house it is very relaxing and it's me you can see and it was so hot there plus 80 celsius degrees and then after it you have to go to the cold shower <laughs> so you can see it's me trying to cool down oops ah i felt like i was born again oh my god so good so good and we also went to a beautiful uh spa you see it looks it's my mom again so it looks very beautiful like somewhere in the cave and there were a lot of um, plants there and the atmosphere was very relaxing just look at this hotel very nice one um, yeah so the founders of this place they um, like this echo things there is a small bridge you can see in this hotel so very nice beautiful guys subscribe to my youtube channel like this video leave in the comments below if you want to see the second um, video vlog about my vacation together with my husband 
uh, please check out my website speaky.com and my Instagram account speak Ukrainian language. Papa.